Hi everybody, we're Anthony and Jack Hi. from ATGN. We write about Pokemon cards, so we're here today to look at Crimson Invasion, which is the most recent yeah. Pokemon set. Um, since Burning Shadows, yeah. we've, we've sort of had the release of like two sets almost. In yeah, tandem. we've had Shining Legends and then this. Yeah, so Shining Legends was pretty exciting because yeah. we got a whole bunch of. Um, a whole because, bunch of cards. Yeah. So we got like all the shining cards. We got Zoroark yeah. GX, um, Crimson Invasion. It, like the Shining Legends kind of tempers yeah. the expectations of Crimson yeah. Invasion. I think these two sets should kind of come out. They kind of lumped into the same format. I yeah. Think. yeah. So so anyway, let's let's get started. Let's yeah. let's have a look. Probably. So oh, before we do, we'll yeah. <laughs> have a quick look at the booster box. There's Silvalli, yeah. you got Kartana, mm. Guzzlord, Silvalli again, Boswell. He's a big one that we'll, we'll see. I think he's the best card in the set. We'll yeah, see. So. Yeah. yeah. So we'll, we'll push this up up here to to the end almost. And all the yeah. booster packs you've got Silvalli, Kartana. Guzzle Lord and then Buzz Lord. Buzz Lord. I keep mixing it's, it's just four, right? Yeah, yeah there's, there's only four, four pack arts. Yeah. yeah, so they're pretty cool. Um, yeah. And they're, they're, it kind of marks like the new uh, the Ultra new Beast. era of Sun and Moon yeah. introducing Ultra Beast. Like they're the, yeah. the hook of the new set. Yeah. Anyway, so let's get started. Um, just go one by one. Yeah. You go first. Alright, so. Uh, now Gladian. Uh, is worth talking about. Yeah, this card's pretty interesting. Um, so it says, look at your face down prizes and put one of them into your hand. Then shuffle this Gladion into your remaining prize cards and put them back face down. If you didn't play Gladion from your hand, this does nothing. So what and do you think of Gladion? Well, I think it's an interesting card. The fact that it's a supporter makes it inherently unplayable over town map, I think. Really? I, I've seen some American players really rate it. Yeah, really? Yeah, I think, uh, yeah, like Alex Hill, for example, he, yeah. top performing player in America, says everyone's sleeping on Gladium. It's uh, kind of like, I don't know, man, you yeah. like supporter and you just get that double colorless energy yeah, you need from, like, your, from your uh, prizes. Honestly, you, you would only play one copy of this card in your deck, and one of supporters that you don't aim to play on the first turn, like Bridget, I think become a lot worse with the rotation of Versus Seeker. Mm. So, this card just, it seems like if it was an item, I think it would be really, really, really good. But the fact that it's a supporter makes it really bad. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I don't know. We'll have to wait and see. See yeah. if anybody top cuts uh, the IC with, with, with Gladian yeah, in the deck. That everybody be will, be, will be all over it. Yeah. Yeah, right, and so we've also got this Miss Magius. Yeah, that I picked out. So I think it's interesting. It's for it. You know, it's got some pretty average stats, the, below average even these days the for um, attack. for um, yeah. um, stage ones these days. The dark type weakness is pretty good. Yeah, um, and it's a psychic type, which is also good. So the reason yeah. why we're looking at it though is yeah. chaos. Well, it's both of its attacks are pretty interesting. What does dark do? So chaos pretty, wheel. Yeah. Is your opponent can't play any tools, special energies, or stadiums from their hand during the next turn? Yeah. Which is a lot like uh, the old Giratina. Giratina. Yes, it just yeah. got only one energy. But it's also but a it's stage also, one. And it's also way less damage. And then yeah. Dark Arts is twenty times the number of cards in your opponent's yeah. hand. So uh, if you're so it, the the basic synergy here is that you Chaos Wheel them so they can't play any yeah. cards, and then you Dark Arts them yeah. because they can't play those cards. Um, if is it any Vileplume <laughs> was in the format, it would be really good. Yeah, Vileplume yeah. would be a good partner, but yeah. it, that would be expanded, not not standard. Because um, twenty is attended. not a good times number to hit at the moment. Yeah, yeah. So to take any meaningful knockouts, they'd have to have ten plus cards in their hand, and that is not very feasible. Yeah. All right, we'll uh, put those to the side. Open up a new pack. This one. So, got some cars. Magic Carp's interesting for, for those decks. We got a Gengar, that's a oh, rare. Oh, that's Sinchino. <laughs> that's pretty funny. It's pretty funny. Alright, we'll look at Sinchino first. What does it do? 
Choose two cards from your discard pile, then ask your opponent if you can put them into your hand. If yes, put them into your hand. If no, this attack does 80 damage to your opponent's active. I think we've never seen anything like it, but it's not a good card. Yeah. Um, uh, like, I've seen cards that are kind of like that, yeah. where your opponent has to make the choice for you. Yeah. But, yeah, it's like its stats are way too low, 90 HP is not good enough. And you have no other option. Yeah. So, yeah. what else have we got? Gengar. So Gengar's ability, I just gotta get down here to read it. Um, whenever your opponent attaches an energy card from their hand to one of their Pokemon, put two damage counters on that Pokemon. So, we've seen this ability on like... Frozen City, wasn't it? Yeah, Frozen yeah. City, Ampharos uh, from previous yeah. Pokemon times has had that kind of ability yeah. too. But Pretty cool, but... Um, it's a stage it's, it's two. It's a stage two, yeah. and the attack's not very good. It's like seventy for However, three energy. Attaching energy in a deck that, or if another good Gengar got released and a Gengar deck was a thing, that card could be played as a one or two of as a really good disruption card because mm. a lot of Pokemon having twenty on them can put them into important knockout range. Like Gardevoir has two hundred and thirty, but uh, with Protan that makes it were 200 so then the 20 would make it 180 which is a really really easy number to hit for a lot of decks yeah but yeah um and then the and then there's this magic up so its ability prevents damage done to it while uh while it's on your bench so it's not very good like attacker but, but with Buzzwall as, GX as, being released yeah if you're yeah. going to play a Gyarados deck this is a magic up you want to play yeah 100% yeah and like in expanded the that old Gyarados deck, that Magikarp is probably going to be the good Magikarp. Now the the energy lets it evolve itself too. Wait, um, really? Yeah, the the attack oh, wow. lets it evolve itself, but it's like too many energies, so it's a pretty good Magikarp. Yeah, it's all it's all right, but yeah. we've got loser means. Uh, Lusamine, Lusamine, I don't, I don't know how to pronounce that yeah. name. Um, yeah. Oh, Mana Sign's worth... Uh, I don't think it is worth... Well, I like, but, okay, so, looking at yeah. this Mana Sign on its own, it's not very good. It, the attacks take way too much energy and don't really do much, um, you know, for yeah. what for what you get out of it. And forceful, it is a stage forceful Tackle does... Uh, 180 damage, but you damage yourself in the process. Yeah, but the other issue with Forceful Tackle is that it's four energy, so that's a really big investment you have to the Mammoth Swine. Mm. Then attacking it puts 90 damage on it, which... And then your opponent just promotes the, the basic Drampa or something. Yeah, and so... And just goes knockout. So moves. the idea is to use it in tandem with the, the older Pillar Swine card. Yeah. I forget which set it comes from, but it does damage based on like how many retreat costs are on all of your Pokemon total. Oh. Yeah, so so there's a Celebi in Shining Legends that lets you use your pre-evolutions attacks. So this Mammoth Swine combined with that Celebi yeah. is yeah, it could be it could be a fun strategy. It could also if you can be get used your hands, to hit water weakness. If you can get your hands yeah. on that Celebi, then yeah, it might be worth a look. But um, Lizamine. Lizamine. So I actually played this in my deck today at yeah. the challenge. Put two of in, in any combination of supporter and stadium cards from your discard pile into your hand. What do you think? Uh, it's I, slow. It seems extremely slow. It's because it's a supporter that grabs supporters. Yeah. So yeah. and that that never feels good to spend a turn yeah. using a supporter Though, to obtain other. Supporters. In my opinion, if you're using this to grab like another Guzmo or something. And since most decks play three Guzma, why, instead of playing Luzamine, why not just play a Guzma and have that Guzma the turn earlier? However, then the, the counter-argument to that is that you have the consistency of being every supporter in Stadium. But then... But then you have to uh, sacrifice yeah. a turn worth of supporting. Yeah, yeah. But, so so it's hard to tell. Yeah. But then the other is issue with this card is that N exists and is played in every single deck. So, yeah, true. So this yeah. card might get more of a look in once things rotate. Yeah. But um, at the moment, at the moment, it's gonna be quite fringe. Yeah, I think would be would be fair the to say. The only deck I could see it being played in is Galissapod, where you need six or seven Ace of Yep. 
Yeah. All right. Next pack. So what have we got? Oh, we got Ooh, Reg we got and <laughs> another Miss Magius. Reggie. Um, peaking red cards a bit weird as well. Let's let's talk about these cards. All so, right. um, Reg Ice. It's got an ability. What does it say? If you have Reggie Rock in play, prevent all effects of attacks, including damage done to this Pokemon by your opponent's stage two Pokemon. I think that is very interesting, but it would be good if Tapu Lele GX was not a card. I think. Yeah, true. Um, that's that's the. That being said, it's got it's got decent HP. It's got 130. But that's the same argument I use for why Glaceon EX is not a good card, which, if you don't know, prevents damage done to it by evolved Pokemon. Because every single deck has a basic attacker ready yeah. that can attack and two-shot the Glaceon, and the same reason for this, so, every basic deck. So would we say it. that uh, Iceberg Shield just sort of isn't enough of a wall to yeah. make it worthwhile? If I think prevented from... All EX and GX, then it would be more interesting. Yeah. But, so yeah. the the Alolan Nine Tails with Luminous Barrier is yeah. probably much better than this. Yeah. And if you're going to play a water deck, that's probably all already going to include Nine Tails. So yeah. why not just include the Nine Tails? Exactly. All right. Let's look at and and so like the the niche is that this yeah. is good against Stage Two decks, which aren't GX but, decks. But they, they're generally, ninja. yeah, they're, yeah, they're not really plain. existent <laughs> yeah. at the moment, unfortunately. Let's look at this one, Peking Red Card. So, it I, I picked this out because it's a, it's a bit interesting. So, like Red Card, your opponent uh, reveals their hand and you and you may have your opponent shuffle. So, the part that's like Red Card is your opponent may, you may have your opponent shuffle those cards into their deck and then draw that many cards. So... But, but you get to look at their yeah, hand before you use the effect. So the effect is look at your opponent's hand, mm -hmm. and then you may have them shuffle their hand, and then redraw the amount of cards that they had the, in hand. I think this card is very similar to Wiki, I think, from Burning Wick. Shadows. Wick. Wick. Yep. Yeah, which is in... It's an interesting effect, but... The really devastating thing about Red Card was when it was used on you on the first turn and your hand size was dropped. Mm. But this doesn't drop your opponent's hand size. Yeah. Yeah. The only, so if they have seven yeah. cards in hand, they can draw seven yeah. more. Or um, redraw like, seven. Against Metagross, if they use Algorithm, they're gonna have, what, like, ten cards in their hand. You're just gonna force them to redraw ten cards and, like... Yeah. So, I think the idea is, like, wait until your opponent has a low hand size because yeah. they've got Sycamore or something wait, waiting yeah. and ready. And then you just bust out peeking yeah. red card. It'll be good when, like, N rotates, I yeah. think. As, so, as, as a, a hand disruption tool. But yeah. until then, yeah, um, yeah. It doesn't lower their hand size, which is the biggest thing. Alright. No ultra rays yet. What's going on? RNG. Hmm. Yeah, not a, not a very interesting pack. What was the rare here? I think it was Crawdaunt. So Crawdaunt's kind of interesting. Really? Um, we'll, we'll talk about these two in like yeah. 30 seconds, alright? So... Yeah. Um, so Crawdaunt's interesting because it discards two energies from your opponent's active. Yes. That's more. That, that's twice as much as most. However, but the I reasons think the it's reasons good. why it's bad. Yeah. Low HP. It has four separate attachments to a 110 HP Pokemon. Yeah, and like you can't max Elixir to it, and Blastoise doesn't exist, so yeah. it's not going to work. So in a nutshell, yeah. 110 HP low. It requires an evolution. It only does 80 damage for four energy. Tapu Lele exists. Like Tapu Lele with a du yeah. double colorless energy knocks this out like straight away. So yeah, yeah it's just and not good enough at the moment. It's four energy, which it, is we we're playing in a world with Aqua Patch where you can accelerate energy, but yeah, it's still not good enough. Still, four is not viable. Now, Go Goat. <sighs> I picked it out because it's got the Sap Sipper ability, which generally makes Pokemon do more damage to grass types. But so this one is do 80 more damage to your opponent's grass Pokemon. However, which is hilarious. The issue with that is that the biggest grass Pokemon right now is Glissapod GX, mm. and Horn Leech with a Choice Band deals 110 plus 80. That is 190, which 
Sorry? Still not enough. Yeah, that doesn't kill Glissopod. Yeah. And then every single Glissopod deck... Pro Town? No. No? Every Glissopod deck plays four Acerola. Yeah. So... So yeah, you not, attack with not this, that great. They just... Acerola. Bam. Done. And it's the stage one as well, which makes it too specific. Oh, Registeel. I was talking about this card earlier. And Devoured Fuel. Yeah, it's a... So let's talk about Devoured Field first. What does Devoured Field do? The attacks of your Dark and Dragon Pokemon do 10 more damage to your opponent's active Pokemon. Ah, uh, that's pretty cool. It's just a, a damage yeah. buff for, for Dark and Dragon. Like, that's... Yeah. It's good. Like, I think there are definitely decks out there that will, will look to, to want to... Um, In a Darkrai deck, maybe? But... To use that kind of uh, stadium, but... Yeah, yeah, like there's no real dragon or dark. They're both non-existent decks. types. Except at the for moment. except for um, Zoroark, of course. But but Zoroark decks don't... Tend, one, tend to want to use different stadiums. Then the other issue with that is that it doesn't even boost Zoroark's damage enough to be relevant. Like you play it, and then Zoroark has deals 130 base, and then 160 with a choice band. And yeah. While 130 base is cool because you can hit a lot of Pokemon like this Registeel for knockout, it just doesn't work well enough, I think, to be played. Yeah. And because a lot of Zorark decks will play other ways to increase damage, like Kikui or even Boswell, as we've seen, but it's just not good enough. Okay, and what about Registeel? So this one's been a bit of a star lately, now, hasn't it? This is the first card you revealed that so far that I think is going to be really, really good. So, you, I think you were saying is in your top 5 for this yeah. set yeah. Um, earlier today. So why is it so good? Uh, the attack, uh, the second attack is pretty bad, but the first attack is for a metal, it does 30 damage and attaches a basic energy card from your discard pile to one of your benched Pokemon. So, and it's one of these Pokemon like yeah. Volcanion, like Evil Toll. Yes, but the big ones. thing about it is that it's a metal type and it deals 30. And that one hit knockouts a Ralts with a Fighting Fury Belt, that one hit knockouts a Curlia. And with a choice band that deals 120 damage to a Gardevoir. Yeah, that's a lot. That is that's a lot. Heaps. And, and like the Gardevoir can't yeah. re- easily like do a KO on it because yeah. you're only attaching one energy to this thing. And it's uh, non GX, yeah. so you can't use choice band. Yeah, it's, and, it's everything at metal. And wanted. it accelerates a basic energy. So this is the card that could make Celesteela playable, mm. I think. Or even just in a toolbox style deck, this card could be really good. Yeah. Only drawback, three retreat costs is pretty awful. However, but you tend to not worry about it being active anyway. Like, you yeah. want it. Like, if it's so. Yeah, you don't want to retreat it. You but just want to let it die. Three retreat costs could be really good because yeah. of Heavy Ball. Yeah, true. Yeah. Alright. Pack. Start. I'm going to actually put the spell aside. This card's really good. Alright. Yeah. Okay, just be careful so the table doesn't wobble. Yeah. Alright. Okay. So let's have a look. Bad pack. Ooh, that was not a very good pack. What was the rare? Altaria. Uh, searches for a dragon on a coin flip. Cotton Guard does 30, and this Pokemon takes 30 less damage next turn. Yeah, just really not good. These. Yeah. No. Yeah, just. Uh, I'd be really disappointed if I got that pack. Yeah. Bad pack. Bad pack. Still no Ultra Res. Let's pick in red card again. Uh, oh, there's the Kakuna. I think that card's interesting. What does it do? Search your deck for up to three, ca- three Kakuna. Yeah. Put them onto your bench. Wow, it's I didn't even know that existed. Water duplicates for a Kakuna. <laughs> That's sweet. And there is a B- obviously there's a Beedrill on the set. So yeah, yeah. I guess we'll that have to talk about it if, if we find 2.0. it. Yeah. So that's interesting. Um, this this was good for me in the pre-release. It's not very good Next for constructed. Ah, uh, yeah, non no. non fire Pokemon do thirty less to it, um, and it does sixty plus sixty more of the opponent's evolved. So and it's two attachments. Yeah, two attachments, low HP. It's not really good enough. Just oh, sorry, sorry. All right. There's another. Gl- oh, there's another. Oh, mill tank. Camera up, any good? What's camera up, dude? Bad. 
Yeah, it burns and it does like 80 times the amount of coin flips you get till you get tails. That's not very good. Yeah, 140 is pretty tanky, but yeah, not very good. Too many energy. As long as this Pokemon is your active Pokemon, whenever you attach a card from your hand to one of your Pokemon, you heal 90 damage. If this worked on your bench, it could be played in Gardevoir. I, I could see that working. Yeah, the fact that it has to be active when you use it kind yeah. of nulls and it. It's got two retreat costs and its attack isn't very good. I so. guess, like, if you're a Gardevoir playing, a Gardevoir deck playing uh, Fairy Garden, yeah. maybe, like, you could Guzma on then a turn have... and this goes active. The issue. And you, you play an energy down, you yeah. heal the Gardevoir, and then you retreat it for free. Though, most Gardevoir decks don't tend to play Fairy Garden because. That, that space could be put into float stones. Yeah. So, so so just to be clear, it says yeah. when you're when this is active and you attach an energy from your hand to one of your Pokemon, heal 90 damage. Yeah. So that can be used in tandem with um Secret Spring as well. Yeah. Which is which is pretty cool. Um but. you could just like fully heal a Pokemon. But at the moment we've got Max Potion, which probably is a bit more versatile than Miltank. Um, but then, kind of good. But... The other issue I think with the card is that it takes up a bench slot, and bench slots are really important in the current format. Yeah. Because you need them for using Lele. Alright. Press on. One day we will get an Ultra Rare. That day is not today. Oh, Counter Energy! We've got Counter Energy to talk about. I was talking what about else it, is in the set, in this pack? Miss Magius. Yeah, we yeah, already talked about Miss Magius. Not, so not too much. Nothing. But this counter energy, I think this card, this is one of the cards I think that is either going to suck or it's going to be amazing. Yeah. So what does it do? Uh, if you have more prize cards remaining than your opponent and it's attached to a non-EX or GX, it provides two rainbow energy. <coughs> Basically, yeah. Um, is, otherwise it's just one colorless, which yeah. is fine on its own but as well. That upside is pretty crazy, to be honest. Yeah, so it's one of the... It's it's a comeback card basically. Yeah. If you're losing, it turns into a and double rainbow, which I is think hectic. The reason that they have to print these comeback cards is because and as N rotates, the pri the prize taking mechanic would become too broken. Mm -hmm. So because the player who's obviously winning would get more cards to work with, so they have to have cards that punish your opponent for taking an early lead. I'm just happy that they're printing printing them, because um, they, they really harken back to yeah. cards that they've print, printed in the past. Yeah. And, yeah, I think uh, cards that uh, reward you for forward planning like like this yeah is really cool for the game if this card became really popular there could also be a, an awkward situation where players don't want to take a price card yeah and it could also be really good in decks but that I, own, I, sorry. I, I don't mind that in no. decks that only play one non ex or gx you could lead with that then your opponent takes the knockout in decks like volcanion and then they're always ahead by one prize but that one prize will never matter so they'll always be able to use counter energy Alright, let's press on. Yeah. Maybe we get a dud box, maybe there's no, um... That's hopefully not, not possible. <laughs> oh wow. Sea of nothingness, what does that do? Oh yeah, special conditions stay when you evolve. Um, everything else kind of sucks. Sea of Escavalier is one of those just bad rare cards. Yeah. Yeah. Um, that one's not very good as well, Gastrodon. Just low HP stage uh, ones that need too many energy. So, Sea of Nothingness, special conditions are not removed when Pokemon evolve or devolve. I think that could be good. But... It's, it's kind of like one of those, like, 61st type cards, where it's like, it'd yeah. be really cool to have in certain situations, like, for example, today. There was a couple of turns where I had to evolve out of confusion. Yeah. And I, I specifically set myself up to take a Psy Beam on my Eevee and then evolve and evolve out of that. Yeah. But it's just not good enough. Yeah. It's just not enough to be to be worthwhile. Like it's too specific of a situation. Yeah. And like they can play their own stadium, they can play field ball. It's just yeah, too much that would not not lend itself well to that that card actually being effective. Get cards like that sometimes. Alright, so let's have a look. What have we got? Oranguru, Cacturn, Gastrodon, Horn. Oh, bad pack. Yeah, uh, Oranguru is kind of funny. One Psychic Energy, you get three tools from your discard pile. 
into your hand. But it's an attack. Yeah, you have to like basically use yeah. a turn to send up a 110 yeah. HP basic. It's like it's gonna, yeah. it's probably gonna get knocked out. And you've, I, in what world would you sacrifice a whole turn and a prize for three tools? I don't know. Yeah, Gorgeist is the only sort of Pokemon that could benefit from it. But, but even then, Puzzle of yeah. Time would probably be the better card. It's just, yeah, not, not enough. You, you just don't get enough for 3 tools. unless the pack was already opened. Partially. But... Oh. Oh, cool. Psychic Emery. Countercatcher. It's a puzzle view, it's a hollow. Your opponent's active for Pokemon. Oh, let's talk about this card. Yeah, let, let's talk about them real quick. Alright, so, um, what, what else is in here? Diggersby? Yeah, not, not very good. Alright, yeah. so, Salazzle does a Psychic for search your deck for two cards and put them into your hand and then shuffle your deck. That could be a really good setup card, however, it's a stage one and it requires an energy, whereas Alolan Vulpix is a basic and requires zero energy. But Alolan Vulpix only searches for Pokemon, but even then, the, the amount of setup that this card requires Having to evolve yeah. just to search for cards is generally yeah. not good enough. It's a setup Pokemon that requires setup, which yeah, the, it doesn't seem good to me. Catch 22, really. Yeah. Severe poison. It's like a, it, add, yeah. it puts poison on them and they yeah. add four instead of one. Again, which, yeah, it's kind of like no, The no. biggest issue, however, is Guzma is played in every single deck, and that's a free switch. So. Yeah, exactly. So, yeah. Uh, below average, I would say, Salazzle. Alright, let's talk about Psychic Memory. The Silvalli GX this card is attached to is a Psychic Pokemon. So Silvalli GX is just a big stage one GX, the good damage, 120. gives yeah. all your Pokemon free retreat, and this card gives them... Um, can push it over the edge. Yeah, it gives, a, it gives it a Psychic typing, so you can hit Psychic Weakness. You and can it's hit Espy on GX. And weakness. it's not weak to Psychic itself. Yes, that is huge. So because we kind of this, need to pull so. a Silvalli to really see yeah. why this is a good if card. If you look yeah. at... Salazzle, you can see that a lot of psychic types have psychic weakness, so giving Silvalli psychic weakness could make it really good against oh, that psychic, psychic typing, so, yeah, not psychic so it can hit for weakness, yeah. yeah. And so then it's good. Counter catcher. I don't think it is good as good as counter energy, to be honest, but really? it's still a good card. I, I, the thing is, like, counter catcher can go in any deck, whereas counter yeah. energy doesn't lend itself to big GX. However, yes. counter energy has a bigger upside for those decks. True, but counter catcher can be just a win. I could see this card being played as a three of in Greninja. But mm -hmm. It's a good tempo card. Yeah, very, very good. And you can Skylar for it. That's really big as well. Yeah, true. Yeah, true. All right, I put these both up here. So basically, it's it's a free catcher, like catcher yeah. with no flip. However, but you're gonna use it from when you're, if when you're you're behind. behind. So yeah, I, I think it's good. Yeah. I, the only issue, I couldn't blame anyone for wanting to, to run it. But the only issue is that Guzma is a thing, yeah. which already does that. Regirock, and nothing. So this Regirock states, your Registeel's attacks do 10 more damage to your opponent's active Pokemon. This card, I think, is very underwhelming. Yeah, it's way too specific. Like, the ability... Just the Registeel? Yeah, just the Registeel, and it's like, why? The <laughs> Registeel already deals enough, like... I mean, 30. like, yeah, I, yeah, I understand why, because the three, yeah. they're, they're like a trio, yeah, but, but... Thematically, but... It's not good enough. Yeah, so the only reason why you would run it is to boost up Registeel, but... There's just, like, other things, yeah. like, strong energy, and... Um, Registeel's a metal type, though, but still, you have dummies. And dummies oh, yeah, really sorry, that. yeah, yeah, yeah. And dummies right. doesn't have three retreat. Yeah, sorry. Um, you're right. So you, there's the yeah. Delmise which does that for all metal. Um, yeah, exactly. and just... uh, Fighting Memory. This yeah. is... We've already talked about why these cards are good, but this is for a different type. But yeah. Fighting Weakness, that hits weakness on Drampa GX and other Sil Valley, which could be very good, I think. Yeah, this just lends it more to a sort of Sil Valley toolbox deck. Yeah. Where you try to be every type to be. And that, so, so what relevant Pokemon are weak to fighting? You got Drampa, GX, GX, and other Silver Valleys. Other Silver Valleys. Um, what else is there? I know there's Zorro. a Zorro. Oh yeah, Zorro. And Zorro that GX. is pretty good. Yeah. So. And then there's a Metal one as well, which allows it to hit three big weaknesses. Yeah. So. Not in the set though, right? No, there, no, it's in the set. Uh, oh. Zonius, Dashing Pouch, and the Psychic Memory. 
commons. So dashing pouch. If this Pokemon this card is attached to is discards its energy for its retreat cost, put that energy into your hand instead of the discard pile. Kind of funny. Yeah. Like you can play yeah. this in tandem with Max Potion and Gardevoir. Yeah. But Floatstone exists. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. it lets you also Floatstone won't save that energy from a Max Potion. Yeah, but so Gardevoir. You dash and pouch retreat, you get the energy back, yeah. then you max potion, and then you play all the energy back down. But the other reason is this card doesn't allow Pokemon to retreat that can't already retreat. That yeah. is the big issue with it. Yeah, so it doesn't. Yeah. So if you attach it to an energyless Pokemon, it won't act yeah, like a Yeah, it won't do stone. anything, which is the big yeah. issue for me. It's not versatile enough, yeah. essentially. And what does leave? So it's your deck for a supporter card. Okay. Bright so Horns essentially is a bad attack, but. Lead is interesting. So, Xerneas that lets you search for a support with It could attack. be a good setup card once N rotates. Because yeah. with N in the format, lead is just way too weak. As they can just tap your Lele for the N, and then... It's got decent yeah. HP. But then the other reason why lead is a bad attack is because tap your Lele is, is, exists. And yeah. Every single competitor. So it's a bit it's a bit underwhelming, really. Yeah. Com especially compared to other Xerneas cards in the format. And if you're going to play a Xerneas deck, you're going to use four Geomancy, or you're going to use four Rainbow Force. Yeah. There's no in between. I should probably let you open the crap after this. <laughs> yeah. Oh, wow. We've gone through half the box. Gorgeous. So Gorgeist is definitely worth talking about. Yeah. So we'll just, we'll cut to the chase. Pumpkin Bomb. Before doing damage, you may discard any number of tools from your uh, Pokemon tool cards from your Pokemon stack does 40 more damage for each one discarded in this way. So let's count it out. You've got 6 Pokemon in play. 6 by 4, 24. 10. 250. 250. I mean, you can attach a choice band if you want, or yeah. you would just discard it. Actually, actually, you would discard it. So, yeah. So However... Anyway, um, yeah. so it's a lot of damage for a double colors, but you've got to keep the tools Recycling going. the tools is another issue. And if, if as you keep doing this, things makes Garbodor increasingly more and more powerful. Yeah. And if you can't hit the tools, it'll be really bad. And the even thing is, to so keep up with sorry. Garbodor, you don't have to discard that many tools. Oh, yeah. So You can choose not to. You can only discard two. So, okay. So here, yeah. here's the kicker. Here's two things with this. You can use Klefki. Oh, yeah. From Steam Siege. Yeah. So Klefki turns itself into a tool. Yeah. Klefki, unlike the rest of the tools, which you don't really have a good way to recover, Klefki can be recovered from the discard pile with, with Rescue, rescue stretcher. stretcher, Buddy Buddy Rescue, you got Max Revive, you got Super Rod, yeah. you got Brock's Grit if you really want to. You've got like so many uh, ways. Uh, you can only recycle the four Klefki and 170. While that's good, it doesn't hit a lot of really big numbers. But then the other issue is that you are extremely susceptible to N. And so you'd have to play an Octillery in this deck. Otherwise, yeah. N and just completely kills you. Here's the thing. Yeah. A, a deck that's playing tools from your hand to, to the bench yeah. is good. It has good synergy with those kinds of cards, yeah. like Octillery. Even Oranguru is good. Yeah, because, because you, you can you dump empty your, your hand, hand and, and then, then you draw yeah. up again. Like, it's good. I, I'm going to put this card in. Gorgeist is I could be a worth a look. Deck. And I've seen like top players are, are talking about it. Yeah. yeah. I'll, I'll open this one. Sorry. Could be. Maybe I'll go battle. A Vesper Quinn style deck. But... Yeah. It's interesting. Alright. Oh. I've got too much going on in here. Bad pack. Yeah, that, nothing in there is sort of worth looking at. Um, you know, Carablast has got like an evolution ability. Let's it. Uh, you. Discard Shelmet from your hand, search your deck for a Pokemon that evolves from it. Uh, Does Carablast evolve into so a it? You may discard a Shelmet from your hand. If you do, search your deck for a card that evolves from this Pokemon and put oh, it onto that Pokemon. So it's kind of cool, but not in this format because no. there's not really. There's no good Excel Goal or, or Excavalier. Yeah, yeah. So it's just, yeah, not, not really worth I mean, it. We've, we've already, already talked, talked about, about Lee's We've already so. talked about Kakuna. So, so we'll just keep going. Oh, I think we've got something. Oh, it's the Gyarados. Oh, Gyarados. Well, let's talk about it, though. Because yeah. I've, well, I've got something to say about this Gyarados. Yeah. This, all right. So, big HP, stage one. It goes with that magic card we talked about before. Um, the GX is pretty underwhelming. It discards an energy yeah. from each of your opponent's Pokemon. Three energy for 70 is 
not very good. Pretty, pretty awful. And any attack that costs 5 energy is not good. In so it's game. interesting though, Draconic Disaster mm -hmm. is 100 and 100 more if there's a stadium and you discard it, I think. That's really similar to Primal Groudon, yeah. but it's 5 energy. Yeah, 5 energy is bad. You've got double colorless energy, and you've Aqua got Patch, Aqua but... Patch. Why not play Nine Tails GX? That's my question. Yeah, it, it's kind of like, yeah. and it's like got four there, there's there's kind of like an upper limit for how much damage is worth doing. Like and five energy. This it kind of misses the mark. Like Nine Tails, yeah. three energy, 160 damage is very um, like efficient. I but guess. Four, four, for hundred, four for two hundred. Five, even four for two hundred isn't good. Yeah. Like if that attack costed. <coughs> Four energy, it probably wouldn't be playable. Um, so, so the only thing I wanted to say yeah. is that there's a flail magic up in the in the format. Yeah. Um, ten times the number of oh. damage counters on it, and you play this with shining Celebi, you could be flailing for a lot of damage for like uh, barely then any your energy. Your opponent takes a KO. Yeah. And then you have to reset up all that damage. So, so it's just an idea. It's yeah. an idea. So. We'll, we'll put- we'll leave it here, because it's a- it's a try, you know, so... It's still not good. Yeah. Alright. Oh, there's another one! Oh, it's oh, Soul Valley. Valley! And there's oh. Fighting Memory. Alright, well, we got- we got cards to talk about, let's talk about them. So, Soul Valley is one of the- one of the stars of the set. I don't pull and a a metal one stuff. Yet. See, Excelgore, Excelgore's so bad. Oh my god, It doesn't so do bad. anything very yeah. good. Yeah, so, Rebel GX does 50 damage to each of your opponent's bench Pokemon, which can take a one-hit knockout if they play a Bridget. Uh, 210 isn't great. Gyro unit's pretty cool. That is an interesting ability. And Turbo Drive is a really good attack. Dealers a buttload of damage and accelerates the basic energy. So, you got a colorless Pokemon, goes yeah. into any deck. It can use double colorless energy. Yeah. Um, and, like, uh, you know, gyro unit yeah. gives your, gives your Pokemon in play a lot of flexibility. Rebel GX, like, you just burst out, like, a, a fully, a fully, uh, and then you have non damaged Pokemon. The memories, which yeah. can be really good. The, it's an absolute star, I yeah. think. I think like, it's one of the top five cards in the set. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Alright. Yeah. We're just gonna take a break for a bit. Yep. And then so we're gonna we're halfway through yeah. the box, we're gonna take a break, we'll be back in a sec. Yeah. Hey there, we're we're back, yeah. welcome back. Uh let's get through the rest of these boosters. Yeah, sure. Alright, <laughs> right, I'll I'll open the last one on this side. And let's see what we get. Hopefully we can pull some good cards this time. <laughs> Boswell. Well, so that looks good. Let's see, what, let's see what we get. How the countercatcher? The countercatcher. The rest of these are not so good. I mean, Mawal might be an interesting setup card. It's got a call for family attack that yeah. benches Pokemon, so that's that's interesting. It's colorless. But... Search your deck for two Pokemon and put them yeah. on your bench. And the reason why, so let me, <coughs> let, me, let me just run through why that's significant. Like, yeah, uh, it it means that the Pokemon will be considered in play from the beginning of your next turn. Oh yeah, which means that you can evolve them straight away. Yeah. So the drawback is that you have to commit an energy to it, and like, yeah. um, and and that's why like Volpix is so nice, right? You don't have to attach energy. energy. So like you you might start with like say this Jigglypuff, you search out the more while, and then you pay an energy to retreat it, and then you can't use the call for family, whereas Volpix yeah. can. Um, but, and the other thing yeah. Volpix does well is it, like it can get any Pokemon, not just basics. Yeah. But then the other reason Volpix is so good is because it's a good starter as well. Because starting with this and you just attach, you can search for basics, but what do you do? You're still dead drawing. But with Volpix, you can search for a Tapu Lele. And Volpix also encourages your opponent to find an N, so it kind of leads them into that as well. And it can yeah. get you out of an N to one as well. All right. I think Volpix is the superior card. The 20 extra energy doesn't. The 20 extra health doesn't really matter. Yep. And the effect isn't better than Volpix. Mm. If Volpix wasn't a card, I think more while could be good. What, what is got? this pack? Nothing. Nothing in there. Octillery. Octillery is not very good. Uh, what if is you, this may, you may discard a special energy from this Pokemon. If you do, this attack does 80 more damage. 
Well, 120 is a lot for two energy, but it's low HP, you know, which means that it doesn't stick to the board very well. And um, the, yeah, it's just yeah. just not very. Good However, if you are if you are playing a special energy, you're probably playing double colorless energy. So this card will be powered up with water and double colorless, and Nine Tails is also powered up with water and double colorless. Well, you might use like Rainbow and things like yeah. that. Yeah. But yeah, it, it just doesn't fit very well into yeah. any any deck. Even like decks that run artillery already, like the the they, draw artillery. They just run artillery for the support effect. Oh, Ooh, what have we got? Oh a yeah, that Kartana. is a good card. Wow. So I think this card is super interesting. Uh, yeah. Yeah, Kartana is very good because. So let's just go over the card. So Slice Off says whenever you play this Pokemon from your hand onto your bench during your turn. You may discard a special energy from one of your opponent's Pokemon. Now, if you know, that is that is very similar to the card Enhanced Hammer. However, Enhanced Hammer is an item card, yeah. which puts it in your discard pile and increases the output of Garbodor. However, Katana is an ability, so you just put it down, slice off, done. Alright? And then their Garbodor count doesn't go up. Yeah. yeah. Um, and, and then, like, it's got the Gale Blade attack that goes with it. Is, yeah. has good synergy it says se it does 70 damage it's very hard to read because it's all silvery yeah. and reflective you may shuffle this pokemon all cards attached to it back into your deck yeah so it goes back into your deck um you potentially like deny like an, a ko on yeah. this thing from your opponent yeah. and you can get it you know you get the card again later and then and you, you can use the ability again, again and use the ability but then the gx attack i think is going to be super interesting which yeah. is Take a prize card. Yeah, the, the GX attack is just take a prize, <laughs> which is hilarious. Like, it's such, that's so. It's, so, that's it's so really un, uninteractive with the opponent. But but what? Okay, yeah. so the cool thing is, is like yeah. you know, you can just you can cleanly win a seven prize game like yeah. just out of nowhere. It means that on a turn where you've got nothing better to do, and you in can a deck at least that you play don't use GX. Your, like in a deck like Drampa Garbodor that already <coughs> plays Rainbow Energy, I could see this card being played because. That deck could sometimes fit an enhanced hammer into a slot, I think, and I think that card in decks that play Rainbow or Metal Energy will replace the enhanced hammer slot. And and yeah. um, because it's a GX move, you can yeah. use it to like really early on and then start Hala. using Hala. When N is not in the format, this card on like turn two, you just use Blade GX. Then you just use Hala for the rest of the game to draw seven. Yeah. That could be it goes, very it very goes good. really well with like yeah. Negros. I think this card is very good. Yep. Absolutely. So, let's keep going. First Ultra Beast is button. Yeah. Yeah, isn't it? Yeah. Um, what have we got? We got two Dinos. Milotic is, is the rare. Milotic, dude. Yeah. So, t TLC? The attack is called TLC? Shuffle one of your- oh yeah, shuffle one of your opponent's bench Pokemon that has any damage counters on it and all cards attached to it into their deck. Which is weird. That is a very interesting attack, though. Yeah. What's your opinion of it? I think that it's like it's not worth like yeah. including for the most part. It's very yeah. it's a very interesting effect it, of an attack. What I think it does, it, it does <coughs> it does a similar thing to what Tapu Fini did in some decks. Mm. But Tapu Fini was a GX attack, but this only uses benched Pokemon, and it er and, and requires them to have damage counters. It's yeah. it's too much setup for an effect that doesn't yeah. really advance like, you towards taking yeah. six prizes. And it's it's a water as well, so I don't see why you would play this card over Tapu Fini. That's what I think. Yeah, true. Yeah. True. So I think um it might be interesting against like. Metagross yeah. or something that yeah. likes to juggle the damage around, yeah. but there's just there's too many other effects with similar outcomes. Yeah. Again, like I think Dr Shining Jirachi, yeah. Espeon EX, these de-evolution ones. Like that, that's what you want to do. You're trying to yeah. to reset yeah. their um their their board state. Yeah. So though, yeah, I think I the overall consensus of this card is I don't I can't see a situation where I'd want it over Tapu Fini. Yeah, right. yeah. Or even Shining Jirachi or Yeah. S Espeon EX I think is incredibly good right now. What did we get? We get sure. nothing. So what what did we get here exactly? So 
that <laughs> Swinob. See, this Swinob is actually interesting for the the um yeah yeah it's not it's not very good um but the Swinob has three. Oh retreat. yeah. The other Swinobs have less than that. I think they have only have one. So this goes really good with that pillow swine You'd that I was talking and about. And so, again, you can use heavy ball with it. So, you know, you're not yeah. winning a tournament with this. No, for But certain. if you're looking for a, a, Just like, a, a lead deck, deck. Yeah. yeah. Swing up. Yeah. Alright, that pillow Just swine keep, keep it in mind. Yeah. Yeah. Alright. Let's keep going. I'm gonna start up another pile here. Pull up buzzballs. <laughs> If we don't pull it, we're just going to talk about it, right? Yeah. Oh! oh. Wow. So, so, we got a secret rare. It's just a water energy, but Freaking still... Um, hate that. I don't yeah. like these. What, like what was the things. rare? It was Primeape. Primeape is just too low of a HP. Stage 1 with 90 HP is yeah. just not good enough these days. Um, yeah, 90 damage. During your, see, during your next turn, the defending Pokemon attacks do 30 more damage so lucha fight actually makes your opponent's attacks do more damage but to you two for 90 it could just be two for 90 and this card still wouldn't see play yeah like it that's awful <laughs> it's so bad it yeah really... like I, I don't understand like even like I even if it, it was the other way around and your opponent did 30 less, or you did 30 more to your opponent, who would still, be good. it yeah. still wouldn't be good enough. Pokemon two fighting energy. See, this exists in the same world as this, and I mean, even though that's weak to fighting, like... This does um, a similar amount of attachments, So, but so much more. I know. think, I think Pokemon tends to err on the side of caution with fighting Pokemon yeah. because of things like strong energy. Um... Yeah, but I do think that yeah, it's kind of well a very good card. Cigarette water. Yeah, I think that's the first time, I, first time I've seen one. That's pretty awesome. I don't like how they. Well, I mean, like they don't do anything special, but they're secret rares. There's yeah. like a one in. I prefer the. I, I don't even know how yeah. rare it is. Like secret rares are like a one in two boxes worth of packs, right? It's and there's a, multiple 124 secret out of 111. Like, there are too many secret rares in these sets. Well, it's because they count um, rainbow, yeah, rainbow rares I don't like them. As, as secret. There's way too many secret rares. Anyway. Makes collecting master sets a nightmare. Yeah, I, I, I know collectors who have just given up. Um, just because just they can't afford it. But, yeah, you know, that, that's just the way it is. Alright, so. Let's have a look. Houndoom. Counter oh, catcher. catcher, yeah, but nothing, nothing too exciting in that in that pack. Like Houndoom is another like low HP stage one. Doesn't sometimes... that doesn't do like enough? Yeah, that's worth it's like all. I can't see a reason to play those over Sil Valley or so, Nine Tails. Cause or like Zorark this is great for for draft and and yeah. like pre releases because you've got one energy and then the rest are colors, but it's just kind of not good enough. In constructed, it just—it's just nowhere near good enough. All right, you can, you can open the next. Let's get puzzle. Yeah. What have we got? Nothing. This Komodo. This Komodo, dude. It's probably just one. So of it's one hundred and sixty HP. Oh no, it's the final evolution. Yeah. So. If you have fewer Pokemon in play than your opponent, this tech does 90 more damage. So, does 120 damage yeah. for a double colorless. Though... Clanging scales during your opponent's next turn, this Pokemon takes 30 more damage and it only does 130. But so it's kind of... Double dragon yeah. energy doesn't exist. Yeah. And... So you would play it for Warcry. But then but again, your opponent could just have one, in, one Pokemon in play. Yeah. Yeah. And it's weak to Fairy, which is... Yeah. A that death is a horrible. It's a it's right it's now. a death knell for like any sort of yeah. any card in format at the moment to yeah. be weak to fairy. Um, you know, like uh, Exeggutor would be good. Yeah, that's why metal if types are so good right now. Yeah. Um, I don't think Exeggutor would be good even if even if it wasn't weak to fairy. No. Hard to say. All right. What have we got? Zonius Crawdont. Yeah, a, a bunch of cards that we've talked about already now. Starting to get into them. Yeah. So a few packs left. 
That's another, that's another Gorgeist. So we go Gorgeist, yeah. Hand or, hand or reverse. The, the yeah. Alright. So. Oh. Do you see that's something? Oh, 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 oh. Go, go. Oh, that's fighting memory. Fighting memory? Another one. Yeah. We still haven't pulled any of the metal memory. See, like, Excel Gore used to be a beast in standard, and now look at it. Recover, discard an energy from this Pokemon and heal all damage from it. What? It only has 90 HP. There's no point in healing that. Exactly. Like, Speed attack, 70 damage for grass colors. Like, this is, I feel this like is like that uh, Sharpedo that was printed, yeah. and it just did nothing. It only had, like, 90 HP, did 70 damage, 2 energy. Like... Yeah, I feel it's like just those are the types of cards that take 20 seconds to design. They're like, yep, full correct. Yeah, I just yeah. don't know. I think like they they design they must design cards for a variety of like different uh, players. Yeah, different players, different like, situations. Like a card like Guzzlord is definitely designed to be a fun deck and yes, yeah, we got it. Buzzlord. Yes, that card is amazing. Oh my god, it's insane. All right. Like Why that. is Buzzwell so good? Jack? All right, that jet punch attack is nuts. That first attack, yeah. yeah. Yep. Do 30 to the active and 30 to the bench is so insanely good that it is not even funny. Yeah, Literally. that was that was a, the trademark of Lander CX yeah. from back in the day. However, and that card this good. has 190 hit points. Yeah. That is insane. And it's with strong energy, so... Think about this strong energy fighting fury belt, you are dealing 60 damage and spreading 30. That knocks out a Rots and a Lol and Vulpix. And those are the two big Pokemon that I can think of. And that splits 60 and then 30 to another Pokemon. Say you deal 30 to a Vulpix, they evolve and since you'll play Potan with that, they'll evolve their nine tails into Potan, then that nine tails has 60 on it, then you can take the one hit knockout with a Zoroark GX. So what you're saying is it just has a lot of Yeah. It puts a lot of damage around the board. Yeah. It goes well with like the theme of a lot of yeah. cards and decks at the moment which can do that a lot. This like Tapu Koko spreads damage yeah. around it's, and, But the and difference Pertown. between thirty and twenty is insane. Like, if you notice, a lot of the top Pokemon now deal damage in increments of 30. Like, Drampa deals 150 to 180, Espeon deals 120 plus 30, Guard of all mo attacks in multiples of 30, mm. and etc. And so, and when you're, when you're thinking yeah. about deck build building Pokemon, that is, like, one of the... Yeah the best ways to approach like what yeah. what pokemon might work well together you want to look at what numbers and, like they can hit like, in tandem and pro town are just it's just a natural combo yeah yeah, yeah. and the other attacks in their slash is either like yeah. 160 damage that's great yeah and but, like if you run strong yeah. energy you boost that up and do heaps of damage but the only an absorption is gx like 40 damage mm -hmm. for each of your remaining prize cards. Like that if you GX get it, if you get an early like powered up as well. The deck like aims to take prizes very quickly, so yeah. absorption GX probably won't do anything. But knuckle impact's pretty good. But jet punch is the real kicker. That attack is nuts. Yeah, it's just like you don't have to commit much yeah. to the buzz wall. And just if it if it gets knocked yeah. out, like you don't lose much board position. That's you what lose makes energy. So good. Yeah, and. The only issue is that I don't think you can build just a Buzzwell deck. It definitely has to have a partner. Yeah, definitely. And I think a lot of people are experimenting to find the best partner at the moment. You see a lot of people playing Zoroark with it. Yeah, that was an idea that a bunch of friends and I had very early, but we couldn't find a good list for it. Yeah. Yeah. Though I think the guy in London who played Reggie Rocky X probably was going on the right idea. Yeah, yeah, he's yeah. he was saying that uh Potown was huge for him. Yeah. And I agree. Um, yeah. I think and, and and he preferred choice band over. Yeah, I think that is correct as well. Yeah. Because so Proton, the numbers all yeah. just kind of added up. Proton is, well. in my opinion, the most underrated card in the current format. Right. We'll a few more packs. They're a pretty good booster box. You got full art. You got a, a, a secret rare. Every box is good with a box. <laughs> Let's be honest. You just need you need them in multiples. That's all. All right. It's a ten dollar card. Just buy more of them. Yeah, bunch of cards that we've spoken about already. Yeah. I, I tell you what, I love this Pikachu art. Really? It's so chubby. Oh my god. So chubby. It's yeah. kind of hard to see because it's like a. And, and its attack draws a card. 
Yeah, great at a pre-release, I guess. You so. might play this in like that Raichu Heatmore deck. Mm. Yeah. All right. Yeah, good box. Those are real cool guys. That's right. good. Make the goal guys deck. Yeah. You wanna go? You, you go. Oh. I'll open the last pack. Yeah. Let's pull another buzzball. Yeah, we sort of pulled all the cards that we want to talk about, which is quite good. Except, I do have a few words to say about Guzzlord GX. Well, we've still got one pack left. Hey. Yeah. So. What did we get? Um, what was the rare there, Starmie? Starmie's got a funny ability where it's just... Uh, during your turn, you can take this cut. You can take this Pokemon and put it back into your hand, which That's... there have been some like funny uh, sort of strats around yeah. those kinds of abilities. It's just not good at the moment. It's like, like ninety HP is not enough for it to be like a tank or anything. It doesn't do enough. Yeah. Yeah. So it's sort of not not worthwhile. All right. Yeah. Last pack. Like a really big theme of a lot of interesting Pokemon cards is that they just don't do enough. Yeah. Like if they did 20 more damage, or if they costed one less energy, it would be nuts, but... Just, Ooh, there's, there's something in here. Ooh, what have we got? Well, well, wow, it's a Rainbow Rare so Alolan Golem. So secret rares. Wow, so... However, sad it's an Alolan Golem. Yeah, Alolan Golem, not that great, but let's let's just go through it anyway. It's the last, yeah. it's the last pack, so... Um, and there wasn't too much else going on in the pack, so yeah, let's just talk about the yeah. all and Golem. So, Rainbow, pretty and pretty cool that we got it as our final yeah. final um, pack. Yeah. Um, so it's got three. It just has three attacks. That's a cool attack name. Hammer in. It does yeah. eighty damage for three energy. Yeah. Super electromagnetic tackle. Yeah. Um, this Pokemon does fifty damage to itself. Two hundred damage. Nothing to sneeze at. No, it's no. got 250 HP, so it only goes down. It still has 200 HP yeah. to go. Yeah. You just straight up knock out, like, you know. The choice band, you just knock out a Gardevoir. A Gardevoir, yeah. yeah. And Heavy Rock GX. Your opponent can't play any cards from their hand during their next turn. That wow. card sucks. That, that <laughs> attack's cool, though. But. If, you, if yeah. you finish something off and you lock them up for a turn, it sets yeah. them behind. But yeah. So However. For energy. So, you would have to play it with, like, Magnazone, or yeah. you ha or uh, Vicavolt. So, but your only you, two choices... You have two stage twos, which become yeah. really yeah. clunky. So, that, that's what I was going to get yeah. at. But, it is nice that you could play it with the Vicavolt, because yeah. it needs two Lightning, two Colors. So, you can go Lightning... Uh, so, with Vicavolt, it lets you get a, a Lightning and Grass and attach it yeah. straight to your Pokemon. So, you yeah. Just do that. But... It's pr the problem is that it's two stage twos that you're asking for, and like, what what do you really get in return? You get a GX attack, and you can only yeah. use those once per game. And you get a 200 damage attack, which is cool, but then Gardevoir just turns around and you know attaches, you. yeah, attaches enough energy to knock you out. So. And then it's got Fighting Weakness, which with this card is really bad. Oh, I didn't even realize it was weak to fighting. Yeah, because yeah. it's a even though it's a golem which is usually like a, a fighting type. type or rock yeah. type or whatever in the in the card game, because this is lightning, yeah, it's gonna have that buzzwall weakness, yeah. which is not good. If I were gonna give them a star rating, what would you give Buzzwall? What? Let's out say out of out of five? Yeah. I would give it a four out of five. I actually agree. Yeah. It's not, yeah. um, like, it's not uncheckable, and it's not like a every deck must have it card. It's not Taku Lele. Yeah. But, yeah. however... But it's very strong. Yeah. I don't think there's a perfect deck for it that's found yet, though. I think there's one out there that no one's found it just yet. Mm, maybe. Um, and, and, you know, card, card, like, effectiveness or whatever. Yeah is really dependent on what the metagame is yeah. at any one time. So like, if Sylvalli Valley oh, yeah. gets huge, then Buzzwall gets huge. Yeah. But then Sylvalli Valley can play Psychic Memory. Yeah, yeah, so... Yeah. Um, in, you know, there is a lot, there is a long sliding scale of how good cards can be, so that's why I gave it a yeah. 4 out of 5. If we were doing it out of 10, maybe I'd give it an 8. Yeah. 
Yeah, maybe less. I don't know. I give yeah. these two ones. <laughs> Wait, I can't um, really give them any more. To be honest, they're going to see no play. Yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah. it doesn't. It's it's not to say that people couldn't the, come up with not, ideas. Yeah, and, I'm not and, saying that you can't have fun with these cards. You can have fun with any card, but. This is See, Jack, I, Jack yeah. likes to talk about, like, I want to win tournaments sort yeah. of thing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But yeah. if I want to go into a tournament and I want to win and I want to get championship points, I would leave these cards in the binder. That's yeah. what I'm going to say. Yeah, you want to tra- use this to trade yeah. for that. That's yeah. what you're saying. Yeah. Yeah. All right, so did we not pull any cards that um, that were worth talking about in this set? Uh, what about Guzzlord? Guzzlord. I would actually give it a 2 out of 5. Yeah, Guzzlord's funny. Guzzlord is yeah. this this big one on, on the front of the, yeah. the booster box. Uh, I've actually thought a ridiculous amount about it, because yeah. I'd, I'd think about it and i think, no, this card's ridiculous, it's not gonna work, and then I, I convince myself <laughs> like, that it's gonna work. Because, like, it does, for a dark, it looks at the top five cards of your deck and takes as many dark energy as you want and attaches it to itself. Yeah. And then it does five darks for 180, then five darks for 100, and that's a GX attack. So five darks for 100, and if you knock out a Pokemon, you take two more prizes. Yeah, so you just very quickly win. So I think the, d- the list I was thinking of contained four, Buzz- con- four-, four Gazlord GX, mm. uh, four Bridget, four Skylar, four Choice Band, four Potan, then 40 Dark Energy. <laughs> 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 so you Skylar for the Bridget to get yeah. more Guzzlords out, and then you just attach a Dark and use Eat Slothily to get stuff. That's fine. Though. And then you realize that Gardevoir is a deck and your dream is crushed. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, Guzzlord, not likely to make a splash in Standard. No. I've seen lists for it in Unlimited. Yeah. Which is pretty funny, like, yeah. because of the way the deck is and way yeah. like that it's a 210 hp pokemon like it actually yeah. stands a chance in unlimited don't all decks in unlimited win on the first turn uh yeah it sort of depends like de- really depends on like what you start with anyway that that's that's a completely different format we're yeah. talking about crimson invasion um so so how will the metagame shift how do you I think? honestly... We've already started to see yeah, it. I so. don't think it'll shift too much, but this card will make a splash. This card will make a splash. This card won't change much. It'll be like a Professor Juniper style card. It won't change the game much, but it'll be played. Professor Juniper? No, like, like a good card, but it's not like insane. Yeah, it's kind of like N came back to the format. Everyone plays N, but yeah. it doesn't. It doesn't shift the meta game. It, it doesn't it shift just, what decks it are good. Brings it's just back. There. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I actually have a really strong opinion about Juniper and Sycamore. Yeah, that the format would change heaps without those cards. I agree. I think. Yeah. I think comebacks would be a lot harder without N. Yeah, but anyway, um, I guess that's all we've got to say i think like look yeah. out for metal pokemon and metal decks like registeel, registeel. is gonna be is it's gonna come into metal it. memory for soul valley um uh, not I'm at the moment sure. because we got we got psychic oh. fighting i'm pretty and... sure there was a metal one. Oh, you might be right or it might have been the soul valley celesteela deck i think oh celesteela that's another pokemon that we can talk about yeah, I'm sort of a, yeah. a bit hazy on what that one does exactly, but it's another metal Pokemon, yeah. and the point is, is it's, uh, it's got pretty good attacks and it can go well with Registeel. Yeah. I think metal is going to be like a new, it's just a new thing in the metagame yeah, to worry just about. just a metal dot deck. And I think Sil yeah. Valley is going to get a look in from a lot of people as well, yeah. like it's just good. It's just a good card in general. If, you, if your deck runs double yeah. colorless energy, you consider Sil Valley. I like really, that really, I, I should, I should have yeah. put that in SP on today, to be honest. Really? Yeah, I think it could be good. With Silver Valley it, Espeon? It's just like a, a different typing. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, um, and, yeah. and and that's about it. Like, Buzzwall's the other thing too. Buzzwall's pretty good. Keep that in mind. Alright, well, buy these cards. this good. has been the, yeah. the first sort of like box opening in this kind of format. Yeah. Uh, thank you for watching. Let us know what you think, what cards you think are good in Crimson Invasion, and... Um, Yeah, we'll see you in the next set, hopefully. Yeah. Okay, thank you. See ya, bye.